Hey there, AYP crew, and thank you for joining me here again for another Wednesday. Uh, hope it's been a good week so far. I know for me it has been, so um, I wanted to share some more poetry with you today. Um, I was having a hard time coming up with what exactly I wanted to share with you, but I decided um, to share some, some Dan Smith poetry. Um, Dan Smith was the poet I featured in, in my first uh, of these videos. Um, these aren't strictly poems. Um, he he set both of these to, to lyrics, um, but you know he's he's a talk music musician. And what he writes is poetry, um, so I, I thought it was um, thought it was relevant, and I thought it was was worthwhile and worth sharing. So I hope you you can enjoy this, and, and I hope you can can get the most out of this as possible, and take a break from your your day for a little while and just enjoy this. Um, so here's two poems that I wanted to read, um, both by Dan Smith. First one is called, Failing is Not Just for Failures. I lost my best friend to sadness. Speaking these words at arm's length, he said, To shake things up as hard as you can, and if you figure it out, by God, tell everyone. He said, Failing is not just for failures, it's for everyone. Failures just have more experience, but you can't quit now, you have to climb all night. Climb every one of their towers and show them your light. But if I'm a quitter now, I promise I'll quit her in the end. I don't need these weapons, I'll set my heart to win. With the weight of the world trying to stop me, breathe out then inhale my little heartbeat. And I'll do this for you, because the world might just, just might need it. And if I don't, I'll lose hope and will end up losing it. Oh well. I lost my best friend to sadness. Even though we tried and tried, I guess we really didn't. I haven't seen my chin since last May. I'm going to hold my breath. Let's all hold our breath together. And I'll turn this graveyard into a garden and grow from here. We give words to colors and swear we're not blind. We're the living ones, clamoring around on top of everyone. But it has to hurt if it's to heal. Well, my God, it must be healing. It's like a knife in the heart and I'm starting to lose feeling. It's going to hurt before it heals, but the pain is getting bigger. This dam's about to go and I'm running out of fingers. It will hurt, but it will heal. I'm starting to believe it. Eyes wide open in the darkness, but I really can't see it. It's burning right now and I want you to feel it somehow, but with, without the pain of knowing it. Breathe in and exhale the fire of living it. And I'll do this for you because the world just might need it. And if I don't, I'll lose hope and wind up losing it. Oh well. When all is lost, I won't think of you. There's nothing in this world that ghosts can do. No matter what's ahead, I'll push on through. For your life or through your death, I'll keep on. I'll keep on and on and on. I'll keep on until I've reached the sea where I can go no further. When all these possibilities keep forcing me towards the goal, confronted with the true self, most men run away, screaming. With nothing as their enemy, it's hollow and it's whole, stuffing sorrow in their souls until all hope is lost in the infinite. I won't ever say goodbye because there's no good in it. I'll stay the course you've sailed away while my path leads to God only knows, I'll finish this race. You've quit so early. I'd invite you to swim, but drifting is not swimming. And this is it. You've given me no choice but to use mere words to stay alive while you've paid them no mind. And I'll tell stories about your life, but you are no hero. But a lie. Yeah, but I'll lie. Because when all is lost, I won't think of you. There's nothing in this world a ghost can do. No matter what's ahead, I'll push on through. For your life or through your death, I'll keep on. I'll keep on and on and on and on. I'll keep on. So that's failing is not just for failures. Um, obviously, there's some uh, some background in that one. Uh, I really recommend that you you check out. Dan Smith and check out his, his band listener phenomenal phenomenal musicians and Dan is a, is a wordsmith um, 
the other thing that I wanted to share with you today um, is, is uh, Seatbelt Hands, uh, another one of his poems that he set to music. Uh, you can also, I don't know if he still can, but he used to be able to buy, buy the record with just Dan reciting. Um, and then you could also have the option to buy the, uh, buy the one with music on it too. But uh, I don't know, I kind of always like the, um, the lyrics only. Anyway, this is Seatbelt Hands. Just this somber town, but it's still beautiful. She's the kind of lady that calls everybody baby. Honey, sugar, sweetie, she's always making friends. And she keeps us all locked outside her thick leather skin. She'll always start with a smile, and small and butter yellow, but easier than a handshake. She doesn't like her hands touched. She tans a lot, gets burned a lot, smoking through the cartons, but then gets put out so much she's considered a bargain. She was born on the 4th of July with her hand on her heart. Loves America and being patronized. No one ever told her to guard her heart. She was an angel for Halloween once, but never again. And for Christmas every year she's haunted by demons. They always tell her they love her. She used to believe in innocence until she lost it and spent a long summer riding the trains. She has cats and collector's plates to keep her sane, watching TV in her favorite chair, both of which are rented. She's alone and surrounds herself with loners. Her life is alone, lent out to anyone who will own her, waiting for the night to sweep her off her feet while she mops the bathroom floor, hoping for a winning ticket or a man to treat her right. But they're both a gamble and she's been a loser all her life. If she had a nickel for every time she's been punched and kicked, she'd put it together with her camel cash, try to buy some happiness. They'll always tell her they love her, but they take something from her. She would always show us her dreams. They were crumpled up like leaves from holding on too tight, scattered in her shoebox coffin on the cardboard walls covered in butterflies. She's got love in her heart for her babies and hope in her mind for tomorrow, and blood on her hands that only she sees, holding up the last bit of time that's borrowed. But you never know where that heart has been, and we'll never know how hard it's been. I want to cut open my chest and let her in, but that won't fix what needs to mend. And still, sorry, and she stands there, unlit cigarette in hand, filling up that hole with anything that'll pour, insides hanging out like a flare, warning. There's beauty in that pain. Can you see it? She's crashing through life with seatbelt hands. One accident away from a miracle. And there's an honesty there. But I can't take it all in. She hides the worst of it in the wrinkles. That's the ache you get when there's nowhere else to go. And she's got nowhere else to go. She doesn't want to go there, so I promise I'll go with her. I'll promise I'll go with her. Dan Smith, it's heavy. It's really, really heavy. Um, but the way that he uses language and the way that he puts words together, I mean, he he paints a picture. You know, I feel like I know that woman. Anyway, um, I know poetry is supposed to be kind of an ex kind of an escape, and and it is. Um, but sometimes you, you, when you need to escape, what you need to escape to is, is uncomfortable. Um, so I don't know how much anyone else, uh, can appreciate that, but I hope it did something for someone out there. Um, thank you very much for indulging me and for joining me here every, every week for these videos. Uh, I really enjoy making them. Um, it, it is... It's one of my favorite things in the world to read poetry um, and, and to share it with other people. Um, so I hope you join me again here soon. Uh, video coming on Friday. And then, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back next week. So may peace and blessings be on you and those you love. Good night.